Well, I'd like to congratulate Merrimack. You know, I thought they outplayed us. You know, they they deserved a win. Uh, I thought their energy level was high the whole game. Um, you know, I thought their zone gave us problems. You know, we we didn't get we didn't we didn't do a great job at times with some careless turnovers. And then you know, when we did have our opportunities around the basket and and with open shots, we we were never able to get any separation. You know, I thought we had that five point lead in the second half and had a chance to make a little push there. I think we had a couple turnovers, um, maybe took a bad shot, and then they, you know, were able to hit a three and get it right back to two points. So uh, we have to play a lot better. I mean, there's no, there's no if ands, or buts. I thought our youth showed in a big way. Uh, I was disappointed in our energy level. You know, I thought their their zone kind of lulled us to sleep tonight, which which they were trying to do, and it was effective doing that. We were never able to get out and and get anything in the open floor, and we didn't defend well. You know, you when you don't get stops, you it's it's very hard to get out and run. So uh, we have a lot we have to get better at. You know, I, you know, obviously seeing Pete get out there and especially in the second half make some make some nice plays in the middle of the zone and and have some finishes were positives and and like I've said all along man that it's it's incredibly disappointing but you know we're in a process right now where we got a really young team and unfortunately we had to learn a hard lesson tonight um, but it's it's going to be a process that we're going to fight through. We're playing a lot of young kids, and and we're going to be committed to to seeing them grow. And and um, you know we can't we can't we're not going to quit. It's the first game of the year, but uh, certainly it's very disappointing. But but obviously I don't want to take anything away from Merrimack. I thought they played an outstanding game. I thought Jensen's threes were were huge in the first half, especially. And I thought Hayes, their point guard, you know pretty much dominated the whole second half with his ability to get in our paint and make plays for others. What do you tell your team in the locker room after suffering an upset of that magnitude? Yeah, well, you just have to we have to decide. I mean, it happens. It happens, you know, and and you get what you deserve. You know, we got what we deserved tonight. We were outplayed and they won the game. And I told the guys that we have one of two choices. You, we, we can lay down or we can decide to, 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 to get off the pavement and fight. And I'm very confident that the guys in our locker room um, are going to fight and they're going to compete. And we, we have to play a lot better. There's no question. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't obviously get any easier. Every team we play is on the schedule is capable of beating us. So for us to, to, to win a game, we're going to have to play well. And we need everybody. And we have to play with a very high energy level. How long did you guys prepare for their two three zone in, in the days leading up? Yeah, I mean, no, we knew they were gonna that we knew they were gonna play the two three zone, and they actually do a very good job in their zone. They really extend it on the guards, and if you look, they've they've done a very good job of defending the <clears throat> defending the three point line within their zone, and the sweet spot against their zone is, is the middle, and. You know, the, the game they played, you know, two nights ago against Maine, Maine's big kid had 37 and their other big kid had 19. So their two bigs had 56 points. And we knew coming into the game that was where we were going to have to attack it because they were going to get out on our perimeter. Uh, we were going to have to get the ball in the middle of the zone. Those guys in the middle were going to have to make good decisions and, and we were going to finish, have to finish. And we did that at times. You know, and, and with all things being said, we had that five-point lead. I think it was 53-48. And I thought we got the ball back a couple times. I think we had a couple turnovers um, and, and maybe missed a shot. We had two or three possessions at 53-48. And then Hayes hits a three, you know, to bring it right back to two. I thought that was a real – we were starting to play better. We were starting to get in a little rhythm. And I thought those three or four possessions, you know, were, were really huge in the game. You mentioned the energy level, not at the what you want it to be. Why do you think it wasn't so high for you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think the first game is always tough, guys. Honestly, um, you know, I think maybe that was to Merrimack's advantage. You know, they they had already had a game under their belt. They played Wednesday and kind of got those opening jitters. I was worried about that a little bit. Um, you know, because especially we have a lot of guys playing in their first college game, or a lot of guys who didn't play a whole bunch last year that are playing their first meaningful minutes. And so I knew there was going to be some jitters involved. And then I think when the zone slowed us up 
and and then we didn't defend to get out and run and get some easy ones in transition. You know, I think it uh, it kind of lulled. You know, I felt it kind of lulled us to sleep a little bit. And you know, we got to do a better job. We got to find ways when when it's there. You know, to to do some different things or you know change. You know, my staff. I take responsibility for it. We got all these young kids. Like I got I got to help them be better. I got to help them through these these times. And um, you know, we're that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to work and we're gonna get better and and hopefully play a lot better on Wednesday night. And slowed down a lot in the second half, especially down the stretch. Got the line 17 times in the first half, just yeah. seven in the second half. What's the yeah. explanation for that? Yeah, I mean, I'd have to look at the film. I, I thought we were getting the ball in the heart of the zone. You know, I, I thought they, uh, you know, they kind of really played off that guy and gave up that little foul line jumper, you know. And um, But I'll have to look at it and, <clears throat> and see if we were as aggressive as we needed to be, you know, getting to the basket. I thought we did a good job of that in the first half. But, yeah, to your point, you know, and, and they were in foul trouble. You know, and that was something we – we said at halftime was, you know, let's keep attacking the basket. Their big guys are in foul trouble and, um, you know, give them credit. Like, you know, that's how they play. So they do a good job. They, they've they played like that. They've been committed to that zone. Uh, they have a lot of older guys. I mean, you know, they have some good freshmen, but a number of those guys are guys that have been in their program that, that have been a part of a lot of winning, and I thought it showed at the end of the game. Uh, Anthony had – Two points tonight. Yeah, hit a shot. Um, how come he wasn't more involved in the? Yeah, offense? I mean, again, you know, he's a guy that needs to get in space. You know, he's he's you know he I got to look at it, but you know, uh, I felt like you know if you look at our shot dis- distribution, we knew that a guy like Pete was going to get a lot of shots. So we knew the guys in the high posts were going to get a lot of shots because of the way they play. They really they really sag out. But you know, he's he's got to do a better job, kind of getting getting into the flow. I got to do a better job helping him. Um, you know, I think a big part of that, I think, was the zone defense. You know, they, they really took away his driving lanes. Um, he really couldn't couldn't really get anything going. And then he had two quick fouls, you know, which I thought kind of took away some of his energy early. So, you know, I got I got to do a better job helping him get involved. And, and hopefully, he'll, you know, we'll do that on Wednesday. Uh, you mentioned yesterday that what you told the guys was that Mary Mack had a bunch of players who who were winners at the mm-hmm. Division Two level. How did they play like that today? Well, I mean, I thought it was very obvious. You know, they when they got down five in the second half, they they remained very poised. Um, you know, they've been a twenty win team um, over the past two or three years. They've gone to the NCAA tournament. They've won their league, um, and especially I, I thought I thought the poise of their point guard Hayes. You know, I thought just he steadied the ship. Uh, whenever things got a little tough, he got the ball. He calmed them down. He found a shooter. You know, he found something. Um, I thought their dribble penetration really bothered us in the second half. You know, I thought we got because Jensen hit all those threes. You know, I think we got a little bit wigged out about you know the fact that we could still help on some of those drives. So I thought they were able to get to the basket on us a little bit too much. And uh, we have a lot. We have to play a lot better. I mean, give them credit though to to answer the question. Uh, they're a winning program. They showed it. They were poised. They made the plays. They absolutely deserve to win. They they outplayed us tonight. Coach, your team was one of the best defensive teams in the country last year, but tonight you guys gave up 71 points, only registered one steal on the game. Uh, what kind of happened out there? With the yeah, defense? we didn't defend well. It was not a good defensive. I thought we were on our heels. Um, you know, I didn't. I didn't think our aggressiveness. I didn't think our our activity with our hands. Um, you know, it was good. And but there's a lot. I mean, this is not the same team as last year. I mean, you don't have Pardon out there. You don't have Vic Law. You don't have guys that have been in the program for a long time that learn how to play defense over a span of four and five years. So, you know, we're developing our habits. They're not there yet. They're not there yet. And it's on my staff and I uh, to get that get that done. We got we got to get better with our habits. We got to be more active. We got to put a little bit more pressure on people and um, and, and cause a little bit more disruption on that end. There's no question about it. Progression, coach. You talk about it being a veteran helps so much with that. Is that something you guys can fix uh, in a quick time frame here? Or is that going to be? Yeah, a I mean, we have no thing? choice. I mean, we. Ha- I mean, it's you know, we we just we're going to keep playing games. So I mean, we yeah, and you know, I think the thing about me, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying until we find something that works. So you know, maybe what we've done in the past defensively is is not going to be good for our pieces this year. So you know, we'll 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 get together as a staff. We'll we'll assess what we got. We'll assess what we need to do. And um, you know we're gonna play our young guys though. I'm I'm committed to doing. That. I got that's the only way we're gonna get better. 
is by playing our young guys. And, you know, even a kid like Jared Jones, I want him to stay ready. They were playing five guards. It was hard to play a lot of big guys, especially when we got down. But, you know, he's a, he's a guy who didn't play a ton, but but he's going to play, um, you know, more. And, and we're going to be committed to doing that. That's the only way we're going to get ourselves back to to being a competitive basketball team at, at the in the conference and, and our, where we want to be is by playing these young kids and, and going through some really tough growing pain. Tonight was a tough one. There's no question. It's it hurts. It's uh it's it's a it's a hard lesson and uh we gotta we gotta rally and get better. So on that note we're out.